Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are going to show you what a cheap food court in Laos looks like. We discovered this place when we first arrived and it's really cool because I don't know if a lot of people know about this but in Asia there's food courts and you can get a card and you can... It's a little windy right now. You get a card and you put money onto the card and then you go around to all these different places. It's really nice because a, it has AC, and also if you're eating with somebody who has like a different taste preference, then there's a lot of options. So we're at the Parkson Mall right now in Mien Tien, and we're just walking in. Oh, it feels good. The AC already feels so nice. And this mall is actually quite nice. It's really new, modern, updated. Um, also, Joma Bakery. If you don't want to go to the food court and get the local options, this bakery has the best bagels with cheese and butter and egg and ham. I love it. I'm probably gonna get one tomorrow. I believe she was talking about it in a different video. This is where it's from. Yeah, it's so good. It's right near our place, so I want to get another one. But the food court is located on the bottom. Yeah. I think it's like just right down there, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And today we are gonna spend 100,000 kip, which gets us a card and possibly two, maybe three meals. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, this is a four dollars and seventy-five cents American. Yeah, it's it's pretty affordable. When we first went down there, like you could honestly get like so many different meals for a really good price. If you're really hungry, a cheap food court is the place to go. And here it is. Also, something you guys should know: this food court starts to shut down at I think around like six thirty-seven. So it's yeah. more of a daytime thing. It, I came here one day during lunchtime when Shelby was back at the hotel. It was packed. So yeah. between like 12 and two, yeah. probably expect some people. Yeah, I don't know what time it opens, but it's more of, I would say a daytime thing. Ooh, I'm excited. <laughs> what you can do is you just put your money, you get yeah. this card, um, but then if you're left over with money afterwards too, you just go back and she'll and you give the card back yeah. and she'll give you your money. It's because they don't want all the cashiers dealing with like the change and the food. It's just yeah, like an yeah, easier yeah. system. It's actually quite cool. The card is like a deposit of 10,000 as well. So oh. It, so it is beneficial to go back and get yeah. your money back. But like the card's like essentially like free, right? You don't, do they charge you for your card? It's just like 10,000 yeah. and then okay. you get it back. Yeah. Bye. Man, it's very quick and efficient. Like, look at that, guys. Yeah. And then right there, yeah, we have 90,000 on nice. this car, too. We are going to go right over <laughs> to where Chase went the other day. I was not here. I have not tried this dish. Yeah. He has had this pork on rice dish, and I love pork on rice. So I told him that we have to come back for it. He said it was amazing. So that's why we're going to show it on camera. Yeah, right here. It's, it's oh, yeah. And they do have some spicy sauces, which I did not try that. Oh, that's, time. yeah. Those look really good. Is this the menu? Oh, there's a menu? I don't know. It doesn't look like it, no. <laughs> it doesn't look like what she's selling. It looks like she's also selling... Oh, okay. Oh, they're pointing to it. Okay. So, she also has chicken rice. She does. If you guys have watched our first impressions, if you know, you know. We actually meant to come here in our first day in Laos. Um, it did not happen. The day was insane. Make sure to go check it out. But we're here now and we're glad that we actually can show it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's quite a few options too. Hopefully some of them are still open for us to be able to show you or yeah. at least check out. See, this one looks closed again. There's people in there though. Is there? Because I thought this looked so good. Where is it? This. Any of the katsu with the curry? I've always wanted to try that. I've been uh, hand signaling for small like this, guys, because the language barrier. That's good, actually. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what do we got left? Uh, 55,000. Mm. We could get anything, pretty much. I wonder if there's stewed pork in there. Ooh. I think. I'm... I can't see, so whatever. <laughs> whatever I will see <laughs> when we edit this. <laughs> I think the one with the ladle in it is the sauce. That's the delicious sauce. Do we get it right away? Like, is it like boom, boom, ready? It'll, it'll be pretty quick, yeah. It'll I'll be like, pretty quick. I like it. Yeah. Chop suey. 
<laughs> I always see people's fingers with that big knife and I'm like all mad. Especially when people do coconuts too with those big knives and they're like... The coconuts are crazy. Especially if you don't like shave off the outer shell. I'm just watching her like peel them off the bone. <laughs> just a meat cleaver. Oh, well, that looks very delicious. That's gonna be ours, right? <laughs> we'll take the bone, we'll take the bone. Looks yeah, delicious. Yeah, you can just throw the bone on the plate. <laughs> like honestly, just give me one of those bones. It sounds nasty, but... It's got all the flavor. It grosses Chase's mom out because when she cooks us meat, like she's so anti like anything, to, anything tendon or if her meat's not cooked long enough, but we just like to gnaw on the bones and it's like grosses her out sometimes. <laughs> Do you want a sauce? Or are you just gonna chill? Yeah. This one looks spicy. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> cupcake. Look at that, guys. Try two. Mmm. This one looks more sweet. Oh, yeah. wow. It's like syrupy. Yeah. Mmm. All right. Shall we go get the salad? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, give that to you. Professional over there. Chase, not so much. Okay, look at all of the options here. Wow. So, if my calculations are correct, we got 55. So, right. which one? Yeah, which yeah. one? It's mm -hmm. a good old papaya salad. Yeah. Looks we're delicious. Not be, we're not trying to be wild today. We're not trying to be adventurous. <laughs> we're just chilling. Yeah. At least I got the wooden bowl and all that. Yeah. We'll just see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> and um, chili, where's the chili? Chili? Ha. Little, little spicy. Little spicy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, we'll see. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> half chili, quarter chili. Oh, well, I always say like a half and that ends up being so, so spicy. <laughs> so it's tasty though. I'm excited. I haven't had, I don't know what it's called in Laos, if it's still called a sumtum. Yeah. Uh oh. oh. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. Oh, Cop wait. Cocktail. What? Spicy. Sh it's up there. <laughs> Should we get spicy shrimp? Hmm? No, we got, we got this, I think. There's spicy sauce. We've, we've already paid, so. Okay. I don't know what's going to come. Yeah, no we. Idea. This one was for 30000 so here we go. Okay, so probably just no, nothing. It'll just be like a regular. It's, it's probably this one here. No. That's got seafood in it. It's 30000 Really? Yeah. Maybe it doesn't have seafood. I can't tell, to be honest. Who knows what it is? Yeah. <laughs> I know. It smells really good. Okay. There's something I have to say though, you guys. We have had some misses at this food court. Chase especially. <laughs> okay. Since so, I've been here a few so, times. <laughs> well, you've only been here once without me. Yeah. And this is when he had the pork and rice and then he also had a dish that he thought was cow soy. What, what he sent me a picture of and what he thought he was getting for cow soy. It's basically like a creamy noodle dish in Thailand. The picture that he sent me and he was sending me play-by-plays of like this nasty dish that's not cow soy. And it, he said it tasted like ketchup and it was sweet and what else was in it? Uh, it also had like what, uh, a spice, like um, hot sauce. It's like ketchup and hot sauce. And like uh, little tofu balls and Chase hates tofu. Well, it, it had a side soup, but the broth had like no flavor. It was just like water broth, but then it was blood cubes and tofu. And then it was like a minced meat ketchup. I don't know, I don't even know. So when you come to Laos, a lot of the food that you get here, it looks like Thai food. Don't be fooled. Not all of it is like Thai food. It's, it's a little hit and miss. We've gotten some things that are like, oh, that looks like a Pad Thai. Yeah. Not a pa not, it's Awesome. Different. Thank you so oh, much. Woo. Let's go get our utensils. That looks amazing. Yay. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try the pork on rice first because if I do see chili in there and if it is really spicy, I wanna be able to taste this, so. That's, that's a good idea. You know what, for the small size? I know. I know. What does the big size look like? Because like... I have one thing to say though. Last time I was here, I got some leafy greens and they were so good. I'm actually disappointed because Chase told me about leafy greens and he's like, oh, the leafy greens are so good and usually I don't really like them. And I'm like, <laughs> where are the leafy greens? <laughs> but like our Porsche, like the, the amount of meat that's on here, like oh, look at yeah. this. Like she didn't hold back. No. So I'm going to get a piece of lean meat and fatty meat and rice. Oh, yeah. Egg later. Pretty good, eh? 
Mm. Mm. <laughs> Honestly, pork, stewed pork in particular is like one of my favorite dishes. Like in Thailand too, it's probably like in my top five. So I keep referencing Thailand, like I just feel like it's so familiar, but I don't know, stewed pork is just like one of those dishes. It's so comforting, it's so fatty, the sauce is really sweet. I get a really strong taste of molasses. Mm. Yeah, like, it's definitely like a little bit heavy on like the molasses flavor, but it, it works, like it's so delicious. Mm. All right. But, the spicy sauce. Yeah. Gotta have the spicy sauce. Look at all the chilies in there. And that's the that's the non syrupy one. No, that yeah, you're it's, using? The, it's the thinner one. Okay, that's the one that she recommended. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Oh, I don't want to swallow it. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. Well, if the papaya salad isn't spicy mm. enough. I can handle spice and that's nuclear. <laughs> Wait until you try that. <laughs> okay, you know what I see in here? The difference with this one, this, this spicy sauce, if you look up closely, it's really muddled. They muddled the shit out of it and Bro that's why- Broke up the seed pods maybe. Because I've had this sauce before and it's fine. Like it's spicy, but it's got that. <laughs> I don't even want it on my spoon. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go for this sweet one. Like that one looks, look at this one. Yeah. It's more my style. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> you know what that tastes like? What's that? It's, it's just sweet chili sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I actually think the sweet chili sauce is better. Probably. I think the flavor is better. Okay. I'll let you try it even though you've tried it before. Mm. <laughs> I mm. think I might do the papaya salad actually. Okay. Yeah. I'll give that a little whirl since I have tried the pork and why wouldn't I try this delicious dish? So it looks like we got tomato, the papaya, carrot, what is this? It almost looks like the eggplant looking things. And uh, yeah, we got a big old hunk of lime in there. Don't don't eat that. Yeah. Oh, I don't see peanuts though. Well, it is spicy. I'll say that. I need one more bite before I can do a verdict here. Mm. I don't know how I feel about this one. <laughs> it's a medium. It's a medium, like, got nice crunchy papaya. If you didn't know what a sumtum was and this is your first time trying a papaya salad, I'm sure you would enjoy it. But Shelby and I, it's one of our favorite dishes. We've had hundreds and you have this little comparison game going on in your head. And like Shelby said, there's no peanuts in here. You know, sometimes you get your little krills or shrimp and it's just like missing a few ingredients, I feel like. You know what I will say though about um, papaya salad too? Everybody has their different taste preferences. Like exactly. I prefer mine a little bit sweeter with mm. less fish sauce. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of Thai people or Lao people or whatever might prefer it with like more fish sauce, less sweet, this one maybe might, more lime. This one might have a little bit more fish sauce. But like not not hor I'm like less or soft, not, not intensely. It's just you can kind of tell. <laughs> you know? It's like missing a pizzazz, you know? It's missing something. It's missing all the sugar. There it is, yeah. It's like it's like the fish sauce, it's it's the saltiness. It's like the only thing you're getting. You're not getting like the sweetness. We're really banking for you to, you should really come here. <laughs> but I'm gonna be completely honest. Lao food for us has been like a little hit and miss. Yeah. It, like, or maybe like a lot hit and miss. But that's just, <laughs> maybe it's just like the places that we've ordered from or where we've been. Got food poisoning the first day we got here, so. Yeah. 
We keep trying. We're, yeah. We're like, you know, I, I keep giving it oral. I tried that cow soy. I, we went for a pie salad. We got this and, you know, I had a pad kapow, whatever that's called here. So. But um, come here for the pork on rice <laughs> and then the Joma bakery upstairs. You're hungry? I don't know how much we have left on our card. I wonder if we should try one more thing and just like see, okay. Yeah, we, we would have to just add some. I think like we're sitting at maybe 20 or 30. So if we go look around, mm -hmm. we could just add exactly what we want and get it. You've been looking at that Korean place forever, so. I know. I'm so scared now though. <laughs> okay, well Chase finishes up his papaya salad. I'm just gonna take you guys on a little walk around to see more of what they have. This station is really popular. I see people ordering from here. And I'm not gonna lie, a fried rice actually looks pretty good right now. <laughs> Hi. Oh, they have like scallion pancakes, fried rice, dumplings. That looks really good. And then they also have, so, this always seems to be closed, this one. I don't know if they're only in the mornings, but this is more like a Thai style one. And then this is a Vietnamese one, so you can get Vietnamese food. And then this one looks like Korean, so you can get like bimbap, which I love. So also very tempting. And something we want to try is tabaki. Eventually, we've never had that. It's like a rice noodle and like a sweet spicy sauce. We might be trying it soon. Oh, that looks good too. Wow, so many options, guys. How do you choose? This was closed the other day, so this is interesting to see what they have. Look at that. I have no idea what any of this is. Lots of noodles, they look good though. <laughs> and then they have a mix you. So, if you've never had mix you, they have a really good ice cream sundae filled with boba pearls. Oh, it's delicious. Um, but I'm also going to show you guys this place that I was also looking at and it looks like they have a really good like spicy curry but the only thing is I don't know if there's fish in it so I wonder if they speak any English. Look at that. Hello. <laughs> is this type of fish? Fish? Is it fish or is it? Oh, it looks good. Pork, okay. Pork. pork. Oh, yummy. Okay, maybe uh, how much is it? Is that? 40. 40. Okay, maybe we'll come back. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh, cool. Pork. That's good because we walked by that one. I have good news. The curry is pork and it looks good. Wow. Yeah. There's also a really good station over there too that looks like, uh, it almost looks like, you know, okay, we watched Strictly Dumpling. And what is he called? Jajamin? Yeah. It almost looks something kind of like that. So I wonder if that's more like Korean. Mm. Yeah. Or Jajamin, I don't know if that's is that Korean food. I believe so. Yeah. You're getting through that. Oh man, it's busy. <laughs> I, I think I got called quit too. Yeah, you've ate a lot of it, honestly. It's it's very spicy. Wow, it looks think, really good. Yeah, I think we're gonna try this one. Yeah. One. <laughs> wow. And the pork in there again. She looks fatty. Oh, and she's coming in like a big bowl. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at all the options they have over here. Should we get some of this? Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> is that your little pate girl? Or is that no, shrimp that... Paste? Is that shrimp paste? Oh boy. Keep that away. Huge portions here. That's what I will say as well. You guys see how big... Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? 40,000? I have to check this bill again. Oh, wow. You know, I, I don't believe it till I see it. That was 40,000 guys. That's absolutely insane. <laughs> that could feed two people. That is, uh, that's crazy. I have high hopes, it looks good. Go back to our same table. <laughs> there you go, sweetie. <laughs> it's so big. I'll just like, for reference, you guys. This is my head, and this is the soup. That's massive. I, don't, I really don't think I could have anything else after something this big. No, I, I can't. I, uh, this, is, this is it. This is it. Moment of truth. 
Wow, the fatty pork. They got like big things if it's either galangal or ginger. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Broth test, curry kiss. Has it come in to save the day? Yep. All right. Yeah, well the pork and rice was good. Yeah, so two out of three guys, not bad. Basically, it's very, like it's not super heavy, but it's like a light coconut taste. You can definitely taste the coconut though. And it's like a little bit spicy. And it's super delicious, look at that. Mm. Oh. So I'm gonna get in some, with some of this um, pork. Oh. Like, do I go in for like a fatty piece or do I go in for a- Well, all those fat pieces are just like bouncing right in oh, front of me. Oh, I got like a mix. I will say the pork doesn't have like a ton of ton of flavor. If you love that porky flavor, definitely stick to the pork on rice. This is really good. It's just chill. It's very like really good. It's a very like light, even though it looks insane. It's a, like a it's a light tasting dish. Mm. I just can't believe that this is like two dollars or less. That's that's so so insane. I gotta get the noodles. If you're hungry, come get this bowl of noodles. Oh yeah. Wow. Ah, so what's that? Like it looks like a rice noodle? Yeah, I gotta break them up a little bit though. Yeah. They needed a little bit of time to cook, Ooh, yeah. cook in the broth. And honestly, once you get like a little bit of the herb and the noodle, such a good dish. Wow. See, there is good gems here. You just gotta search them out. Yeah. This is not. Okay, it's kind of working. Oh, what is it? Oh, no. Is that potato? No, it's just pork fat. <laughs> it resembles a potato. Okay. Mm. Very good. All right, guys. Whoop. Let's get this papaya salad out of the way. <laughs> All right, I, I'm pretty excited here. Pretty excited. Have we tried a curry here yet? No. No, yeah. Ooh, you get that, that ginger flavor right in that broth. Oh, I love that. Look at that, guys. It has like all those vegetables you put in, like the cabbage, the bean sprouts and stuff. That is very worth it. That is amazing. We got one of the little meat chunks. Mm-hmm. I can't complain, that had a little bit of a chew, but it's that's an amazing dish for $2. You know what I could add? Mm. Which is kind of ironic. I could add fish sauce to this. <laughs> well, you got it right here. <laughs> I know, right? No. <laughs> I will say about this papaya, papaya salad fish sauce. It's not like a normal fish sauce that I'm used to, like a salty one. It's more just like fish. So you got your sugar and your citrus here. I think those are really nice additives. Oh, what else do you got? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> mm. Mm. You know what? <laughs> I got a good um I got a good pork flavor there. You know it'd be funny that we've traveled Asia so long when Shelby switches her salt baggie to an MSG baggie. Honestly? <laughs> now that you said that. <laughs> I probably could. Yeah. Does MSG will it like add saltiness to your dish? S or does it just add slightly, but it's mostly umami. Because I think actually one time I bought MSG by mistake. Yeah. I meant to buy salt and I bought MSG. Mmm. <laughs> a little bit of salt. I won't add too much acidity because that's not Chase's favorite. Mmm, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. 
Oh man. I, I strangely prefer the lean pieces in this dish. <laughs> At least you got the options. Mm -hmm. I'll put my little baby away. <laughs> it's salt! I, it's salt, I swear. Shelby's never really had uh, any problems going through airport securities with that, guys. Uh, sure. Very, very surprising. You know the only place I had a problem? Was when we went back to Canada. <laughs> and <laughs> this was so funny. Chase was not around because I went for a bachelorette party and we went to a club. I forgot the salt baggie was in my purse and they're like, oh, can I check your purse? And I was like, yeah, of course. And then they're like, what is this? And I was like, it's salt. And they're all like, why do you have salt? And I was like, okay, well, I travel Asia and sometimes you need to have salt and because I like to put salt on things and they're like, okay. And I was like, are you gonna throw it out? And they're like, you can collect it after if you want <laughs> and then literally this one guard comes up and he's like he's like i totally know what you mean he's like i get it i've been to cuba where i had to add salt he's like if i had that baggie that would be so useful useful and i just was like is this happening right now <laughs> Am I, is my salt bag being confiscated because they think i have something else like and everyone's just pissing themselves laughing and i'm like only in Shelby's life. It's my salt baggie. <laughs> All right, so for Westerners, this is a little different, but you just leave your stuff right there. You don't you don't bring it anywhere. It, it's kind of a weird feeling to just be leaving your mess. And uh, yeah, all said and done, guys, we spent 105,000 kip, which is $5 American. So <laughs> I, I'm a little overly stuffed. Now we just got to go get our card over here, get our money back. But hope you guys enjoyed this food court with us. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell, <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.